And over here, spawner. And a witch almost got me. A witch had my face. What's up, people? I'm Zug, and welcome to my world. We're here, we're doing things back on Life in the Woods. And <laughs> I don't know, that's really cool looking up there. I like that. That's pretty neat. I mean, the sun kind of gets in the way, but you, you get the gist. You can see it up there. So it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. Uh, another thing I haven't really checked on in a while is just to see how much compost we have. Oh, 22 stacks. Yeah, I, I'd say I'd say it's working out pretty well. Granted, we're still not filling up uh, too many of these. It's still pretty much just the one, a little bit of two every now and then. But we, we don't need all five of the compost bins. I, I, I'm not using it to its full efficiency. But I don't think we ever will. I thought we would, though. I thought we would. And you know what? I'm okay with it because it's better to plan bigger than what you're actually mm. going to be able to use than to go smaller because then it'll just end up being a bottleneck in the end. If you if you don't, like, if I only had the one, it, it would have been a bottleneck. It would have built up in there. We would have been losing items, and it's just not the great best thing. So going over, granted, we went way over. But going over is still better, in my opinion. Now, the other thing is that I now have a full set of everything that I wanted. It took a little while of uh, actually doing the grindy grind up there to get all of the experience that I needed for this. But I have actually gone mining a lot, which means I have not only gotten, you know, my awesome stuff, but I've also repaired it a few times. So this thing, it's for sure, it takes total like 40 levels to uh, actually repair. So I do it in tiny little batches, about 10 levels a piece. And I've repaired it when it gets to about half most of the time, because that gives me a decently long mining session, about a couple hours, you know, and I can go and do a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna show you down there in a minute. You see, it's been redesigned. I just wanna chop this tree down. Do, 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 do. Quick breaks. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. Almost, I can almost get it just by jumping. How unfortunate. Thank you. Can you make sure I get a uh, a jungle log back, please? Can, can I, or jungle log, can I get a, a jungle sapling back, pretty please? Pretty, pretty, pretty please? So I have all of this stuff now. Boom, bada boom. This is pretty cool, it's pretty neat. Neat little thing that I have here. The chests are still here, but now they've been revised. I have a lot of random stuff. And then here's extra tools, anything that I consider to be some kind of ish tool, like armor. It's a backup set of armor. Armor is a tool that protects you, you know? And then you have the wood products, which I'm sure some things in here, like strength, that's not a wood product. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this guy here in a minute too. Um, you know, but just any kind of wood-like thing. This isn't wood that's not either, but I'm going to leave it in there for whatever. Then we have the mob drops. We have stone products granted stone i was going to put in here but i don't mind that that's not a mineable thing uh stone is changed into other stuff uh, and i manually made that actually you can make cobblestone which means you can make stone so that's the thing and then this guy's empty and the wood chest is no longer here i still have all of the plants over in these guys and these guys are all empty so we have plenty of storage now especially with this and this guy right here is hooked through the ceiling all the way over to both sides so when i go on my super long mining adventures i can go ahead mine up a bunch even throw a bunch in my backpack here and then come back just double right click if i put any in the backpack put it back in my inventory just kind of you know, shift click it all back into my regular inventory and just kind of double right click again. And everything is put away for me. So let's check out some of the stuff I have. 15 stacks of coal ore. That's that's quite a bit. That's quite a get. That, that's a lot. Okay, 33 lapis ore. And that's not so much. Four stacks of redstone ore. Two stacks of blocks. And six stacks of actual redstone, which is kind of crazy. And we have four stacks of that. We'll get so much coal ore. I think I'm going to stop uh, mining coal, actually. It's, now it's kind of just a waste of time. Over two stacks of gold, which is really, really awesome. Over four stacks of iron, which is really awesome. 27 diamond ore and 15 diamonds on their own. And we even got... I found a, another place. We're going we're gonna to take some adventures and stuff here in a minute. And uh, here's some emerald ore. And we have two emeralds. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. With our fortune pick, we can get quite this stuff. Now, this is a, com uh, a combination of all of the stone that we get down there that I've been getting. Soapstone, naturally, you've seen that. Uh, mig mig Migmatite? 
Yep, you've seen that too. Ecola, eco, ec, ec, Okay, there we go. Comatite, uh, gabro. You say that a little bit, gabro. I say, I feel like I should say that with a different accent. Red granite is a new one that uh, that I just kind of went further. I've started going further and further in my mining shafts or whatever. When I mine, I just keep going straight for a lot longer, and uh, then I just turn around and run back. Rhyolite. Uh, lignite is something I found after I was in investigating one of the caves I ran into and we kind of just, you know, I don't know. I found it a little higher up. Marble is another one of those as well. I found this deep in a ravine, which is really cool. Shale I found in another ravine. Actually, I think it was somewhere close to the marble. I wasn't sure about it. I didn't like it so much. That's why I only have two of them. Marble I went and I kind of dug out a bunch of. And the same with the chalk. I have over three stacks of chalk because I thought it looked pretty cool. It was a, it was a nice bright block. I, I really liked it. So I went and got about three stacks of it. And uh, basalt was only one because I wasn't a big fan. And of course the dirt and stuff. So we have a bunch of things. I have a bunch of everything. But in all of those adventures, I have found a couple of things that I want to show you. I haven't changed over the block. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but this is now soapstone. Now that I'm mining with silk touch, I get soapstone right off the bat. I don't have to smelt it or anything. So it's really easy to decorate with, you know, things that are not cobblestone. So I went ahead and did so. But I didn't do any of the, any part of this. I don't think I ever will. It'd probably just be nasty down here. Well, I do want to do the mine. So if I'm going to do the mine, I might as well do the mine shaft too. The thing that... Ho, oh, oh. ho! And we have a slime chunk around here too. I found that out the other day. Uh, I was going down one of these tunnels. Wait, which way? Oh, ladder and then behind it. I was going down one of the tunnels over here. Now you see these guys are marked. We're, yeah, these guys right here are marked. So what I wanted to do is I, I have a bunch of food. That should be a, enough food for stuff. I want to go to investigate the first thing that I found, which was way down here. And I have this one marked as well. Here we go. So it's down here. And again, I miss, I'm skipping all the coal. Granted, I was skipping the coal last time. I don't know why I was skipping it last time. But uh, yeah, this is an old mine shaft. And if we keep going down here... And then we go through... I need to remember how to go through here. I'm pretty good with directions after I find out what it is. Wait, was that a... No, okay. I don't know what I saw over there. I thought I saw something, but I, I guess I didn't. It's green. There's something green over there. I don't know what it is. I th were you... Yeah, there uh, There we go. What is that? Is that just a shimmer? I think that's a shimmer. Did you guys see what I was talking about in the water over there? There's a little green thing. Anyway, so I come up here... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember where I'm going now. I, yeah, I don't know why. And when I navigate caves and stuff, ow! Whoa, you're shoot. Okay, okay. Nope, we got, we got some, we got some fighting to do. I, I, hey, buddy, I got a bow now too. I, I can't see you though. I gotta see where the arrow's coming from. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh, did I get you? Where are you now? Over there. Ooh, I think I got you. Maybe I didn't. I think I got him. He's not shooting at me anymore if I didn't. Anyway, so yeah, so I came down over here. I was just, you know, this is another one of the caves that I was investigating a long time ago. Just kind of looking for stuff, you know, just kind of roaming. I usually don't bring you guys along for the exploration of this. I probably should for mining and stuff. But when I'm bored and I just kind of want to do something, I'll come and see if I can't find a cave. I know I said I didn't do that. I don't do regular strip mining much. But I realized that kind of wasn't really true. I do kind of explore a lot when I'm bored and don't really have much else to do. I'll kind of come through and just do stuff. And uh, mining is, is a pretty common one now, especially with this. So that's why I've been mining a bunch. That's why, I've, why we have a bunch of diamonds. Bunch of coal, too. Was it over here? No. I'm, I'm losing myself. Hold on. Let me think. Oh, I remember where. Now it's up here. It's up here. Okay. So this is this is the... Oh! Ow. Oh, yeah. I fall... Uh, fall... What is it called? Feather falling on my boots. So I don't take damage when I... Yeah, that's cool. Anyway. Yeah, I keep coming down over here. But like I was saying... I don't know why, but I'm, I'm really, it's, it's fairly easy for me to remember directions in caves. As long as the cave isn't like, uh, there you go. Isn't, you know, like the same, like it's not the same shaft or whatever. I, I, you know, it's different. It's all different. So I kind of recognize things. I recognize patterns and stuff really easily. So directions in caves and stuff are really, really easily for, easy for me to figure out. But, uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So now I have, if in case you didn't notice, I have a bunch of these guys. Uh, torches so I can go on for a pretty long while 
I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. This uh, Kaparis sapling, we're gonna get into a little bit later. I don't know what it is or how to use it. I, I was looking for insight onto that. But as far as uh, other stuff, uh, as far as where I got it, I'll, I'll let you know a little later. So I don't know, we're, we're just, oh. I know what you are. I don't like you, but I know what you are. Look at look at all the spider webs. Yep, there it is. Oh crap, one just spawned too. Oh, you wanna go? Do you wanna go? Huh? Yeah, what? Okay, we're gonna go this way. I, I gotta make sure I keep like, Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. You got to do directions. You got to do the directions, okay? This is straight. So I know I came this way because of the torches. And I know I came this way because of the torches. We're going to go... Uh, I want to... Okay, we'll double torch that. So when I look over, I'll see double torch and I'll know to go that way. So that's where we're coming from. Or going towards. Uh, doesn't look like there's too much over here. Okay, check. And then over in this direction. I know I'm, I'm like activating the cave spider spawner. I don't want to do that. So I'm trying to rush through this area so I get far enough away from it. Is there nothing? Is this not a big one? I mean, I have other stuff to show you too, so no worries about that. But I think this one might actually be pretty... It's not that it's small, it's just that the the paths are blo blocked off by like rock and stuff. So you can't really see everywhere. Oh, no, we got plenty more over there. Okay, so we're going to have to go through the, the cave spider spawner. Oh, whoa, 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 where am I? Okay, no, I know where I am now. Okay, I'm, I'm, I remember. So this is back towards spawn. This is this thing. So we're going to have to go forward... Oh, 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 I don't have any blocks. I don't have any blocks. Nah. Are we out of range? I think we're out of range. I need to get blocks. Give me my, um, how about we just mine some blocks? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good idea. So I wanted to show this little bit of it to you. I want to show, because uh, I want to do something with this spawner too. Not, not because I have to, not because I need any kind of uh, a spider spawner. Like, I really don't. But it's just kind of for fun, you know? It's, it's, it's kind of fun to do those kinds of redstoney projects and stuff. It's pretty neat. Uh, is that enough? I think that's enough. Okay. We're going to have to protect ourselves because I know that thing's going to be active like really, really, really quick. And nah, nah. Okay. Light. Oh, oh, oh. Back up. Back up. Okay. Okay. It's going to spawn one. I know it is. I know it is. Did it fail? I think it failed. It, I might have gotten lucky. Don't spawn one on my face. Okay. Come on. I think I think I might have gotten it. I think I might have gotten it before it uh, before it spit another one out at me. Is there another one though? Sometimes there's a second. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think it's too bright around here to actually for it to spawn one. And I don't think there's any of the caverns like through the walls or anything that are uh, that are crazy. That are <laughs> I'm I'm talking. I'm worried about getting spawned. You know, getting a cave spider spawn like in my face. But uh, what I mean is I don't think any of these walls are like one thin so they can't spawn on the other side of a wall and then circle around to get me or anything like that. I don't think that's a big deal. I don't think that's a, a thing that happened. I'm talking in circles again. I do apologize. This is one of those days, I guess. Okay, so it should be good here. So I want to keep... I want to remember this place. So that way we can actually come back and actually do something with this uh, eventually. We're not going to do anything with it today. Today is more of an adventure. Let's see what kind of underground stuff we can find. Well, that was close. I almost got attacked by this guy right here. Oh, oh there's a couple of them. Okay. Okay, got two of them. Um, hold on, hold on. There's another. There's another. Let's light it up a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was so close. Oh, there's another one way back there, too. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. You want to go? You want to you wanna go? We can go. Holy crap, man. So many of these daggone spiders. I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, I think we're good, though. I think we got this one, too. I think we did. I think we lit up enough so that they can't spawn anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Broken torch, broken torch, broken torch. Not good. Ooh. Okay. No, 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 no. Give me, uh, give me you. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're good. I think we are, unless there's a second one. Like I said, sometimes there's a second one. I gotta keep going back just to see if there is a second one. Though this is like huge, holy crap. How far back does this thing go, man? I think there's like a skeleton stuck in one of these daggone things. Holy crap. Okay, there's more that I wanna show you today. So I'm probably gonna leave this for uh, exploring by myself one of these days. Uh, I think this is enough of this guy. 
But I wanted to show you at least one other thing today. Oh, look at you. You're all stuck in everything. <laughs> totally. The skeleton totally got stuck in there. Yeah, there's something else I want to show you. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is actually pretty far down here. And this this will show you... Actually, hold on. Right here. Yeah, this. This is marked because uh, of a slime chunk. I don't know where. But it's somewhere around here because the slime attacked me. And the first time it happened was actually right here at that spot, which is why this spot is marked. But now that it's actually happened at the bottom here too, I have a slime chunk that is somehow connected to it. Which means it's probably from one of the new paths that I dug out. So uh, we're going to have to check on that here in a little while. We'll make ourselves a little slime farm and everything. It'll be pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, so... And I'm talking, I go a long way too. Like, you still haven't seen the end of the tunnel yet. And that's the only reason I'm bringing it through here is I want you to see just how far down I go. Uh, there are probably more effective mining techniques, I guess. But, uh, eh, doesn't really matter too much to me. So I just kept going straight and straight and straight and straight and straight and straight for a pretty long while. And eventually we'll come to the end. I didn't know it was this long actually. Now we come across a little intersection, but we're not done yet. Not yet. There's something down here. I don't remember what it is. Usually when I find something, when I find like a cave that leads to something awesome, I stop mining there. Uh, but apparently I went a little further and I don't know why. Why did I go a little further? Was that the slime chunk? Yeah, it might have been the slime chunk. Why did I do that? I might have marked that for just the slime chunk. I, I, I know there was another thing that I wanted to show you, but I don't remember what it was. I don't think it was up here. Um, I don't think so. It could have been, possibly. Go there. Because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, go and break. And I don't think it was up here. It might have been up here. Um, but there is some pretty cool things around the area, I know. I was investigating a lot of the... Oh! Oh! Da, 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 da. I see you. I see you! You little punk. You're not getting me. Oh, this is, um, I think I might have marked it for this, actually. This is my chalk. And it's insta-break, so it's not very strong. But I, I'm only thinking about designing and stuff uh, for these guys. I mean, I, they're pretty nice little block here. If you take a look at them, they're really, really, really bright. And I know that I'm holding a torch right up against this. That helps. So there's a little bit of the texture you can kind of see at varying depths. But I think it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty neat little thing. But yeah, I think that is actually why I marked this area is just for that. So I need to go all the way back now and see about the last little thing that I marked. So we can show you what's going on there. I love feather falling. Ow. So this is the end of that other path that was directly to the left of the one that we just took. The reason I cut out the tra path travel is because this one's even longer than the other one. I just can gradually go further and further and further down these strips that I mine out. And uh, I don't, I just keep doing it. I don't know why. I just keep watching shows and mine it. It's actually kind of relaxing. I see why people do it now for, for like funsies. Especially when you got silk touch, you can mine fast. It's a little irritating before that. Like when you have to keep going back and, and you know, because... Even with a diamond pick, I couldn't go this far down without it breaking or coming close to breaking. And I don't like breaking tools. And now that I can repair them forever and doesn't really matter too much, uh, it, it's, it's kind of cool just to come out here not having to worry about your tools and just go straight for a long time. But yeah, this was all lava that I coated with, uh, you know, naturally you always bring a water bucket with you when you're mining. And then it opened up like really, really a lot. And this is where I actually found a lot of the emeralds. Not, I don't think I found them yet. I kind of kept going. I didn't cover this actually, naturally, as you can see. Oh, oh, oh. Am I getting shot at? Yeah, I am. Look at that. Punk? Where'd you come from? I don't know. I don't really have to worry about too much, though. As long as they don't, like, knock me into lava, I'm okay. You know? I just kind of go ahead and coat all this. Now it's really dark. Woo! Look at all the darkness. Me don't like it. Me don't like it at all. All right. Anyway. So, yeah. I, I kind of came through here. It opened up, like, quite a bit. And it just... It got pretty big. And it's really kind of cool. So it made me want to... Uh, yeah, there's already a torch there, Zook. It always so... The, the shaders make it look so dark. It's unbelievable. 
Uh, but yeah, like did a couple of these little two holes here. Uh, some of this was iron. Uh, one of these was actually not, uh, yeah, some of this is iron actually, but some of it is uh, diamond. I, I found a couple things of diamond down here and actually right here in the wall, there was an emerald here and there was an emerald right there, which is really neat. And there's like all of the emerald that I found it was like all 10 of them. Yeah, there, there's one right there that I missed. Uh, they were all found in this area. It was really, really cool. So I was like, oh, look, there's another one I missed. So I was like, this place must be, you know, Extreme Hills, but no, it's in Alps, which I guess is based on Extreme Hills. So you can get the emeralds, uh, emerald spawns in here too, which is really cool. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I don't know what I need emerald for, but I'm, you're darn right I'm going to get it. And over here, spawner and a witch almost got me. A witch had my face. For a little bit basically pretend this is the same uh pretend this is right light it was something like this so i couldn't see anything and i jumped up and i couldn't see i wasn't paying attention to the background because all i saw was a witch's head uh and i came over here i was like what is that because i couldn't quite see it and you know you got to remember it's all pitch black back there it wasn't all lit up so and the witch was here i was like what is that oh it's a witch crap 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 bam nailed me with a poison potion I'm like, oh crap, so I built a little structure here just to, because, you know, that's like 30 seconds of poison. That's ridiculous. So I just kind of, you know, did what I did and, and encased myself, healed back up, and then broke, and broke the uh, chamber that I was hiding in and killed all the zombies. This is fantastic, pretty good. But uh, this is where I actually found that sapling I was telling you about. It was right here in this chest, and I didn't get this stuff. I don't know why, but I didn't. But yeah, it's a little spider spawner. It's pretty cool. So what the heck is this tree? It's a Caparis sapling. If it's meant to stay a sapling, I want to keep it as a sapling. If I need to, like, save up and find, like, four more just so I know that I'll always have that tree. Is it is it a good tree? Is it a bad tree? Like, what's up with the tree, man? I don't know. Uh, so so let me know about the Caparis sapling. See if I should... Should I plant it and grow it? Or should I leave it alone or what? I mean, we have all the bones and bone meal, so that's not the problem anymore. You know, and I came all the way through here. And I don't know, I kept going and going and going. And then up here, going up here, just kind of links back to uh, the big chamber. So it's pretty cool. Oh, the emerald. Hello, emerald. I forgot to get you. Come here. Ugh. Good bro. It's good bro. That's what it, I don't know. I've, that's the one, remember, I told you, I feel like I have to say it with an accent. It's good bro. Good bro. I can't say it right. Okay, anyway. Give it, I'm hungry. Hey, Brad, I could eat you or I could heal up completely or hunger up completely with a beef wellington that I'm auto-crafting. I love this. I love having auto-crafted beef wellingtons. But yeah, I don't know. It's really cool. And I saw that up there too. So we have another... We have another one of these guys down here. Hello. Uh, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, I have to bring the peeps down here. I can't not show them this awesome place. This place is magnificent. It really is. It's a really, really, really cool area. And uh, I almost want to build something down here. I don't know what, but something. Uh, and I, I have absolutely no idea how far away it actually is from the place after navigating all the caves and everything. I just, I don't really have a clue. I have no idea. Oh, there's a zombie coming. Hey, zombie. Oh, hi. Oh, you're all by your lonesome. By the way, this is a good example right here of the gold armor. You see it. It glows. The gold armor is, is like a, a torch thing. And now it's gone. The light's gone. It's pretty neat. It's a nifty little thing. It's pretty cool. I should probably collect some rails. I'm, I'm going to be having rails and stuff everywhere. I'll have to come back down here later and collect all, all the rails that I can. I just got to remember that there's free rail down here. Give me that. So, I don't know. It's really cool. Like, this place is so awesome down here. I love it. I am really loving it. I almost want I, I actually do kind of want to dig through the surface to see where I am. To see if the biome itself is really cool. Somehow, maybe somehow I missed it. Uh, before when I was adventuring around and everything Maybe I don't I don't know but yeah, so we have this thing again. Here's another one I'll bring you through a little bit of this one, too. I'm trying to find I didn't find any minecart um, Chest and minecart things. Oh, oh creeper Nah Nah, okay, I'm good. We're good. Oh, I heard st footsteps. I Think I did. Oh, here we go here. Perfect diamonds pile of ashes because that's always in thought you suck minus the diamonds you're pretty good for the diamonds but you suck otherwise anyway <laughs> so yeah so i don't know i'm just gonna i'm gonna explore this one a little bit I, I did the last one a little bit i almost got lost actually as good as i am with directions these mine shafts are really kind of tricky 
I mean, because, I mean, I, like I said, patterns and changes and walls and stuff. And sometimes there's no changes. Was there a creeper spawner over there somewhere? Yeah. Okay, don't. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad they only take two hits. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I saw green again. I was like, holy crap. And I ended up running right through a skeleton. That was cool. Anyway, moving on. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Bloop, 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 bloop. It's pretty awesome how I'm not scared of anything anymore. It's really kind of neat that I don't have to worry about stuff. I mean, I still have to worry about creepers, but they still won't kill me. Like, even a direct blast won't kill me one hit. Uh, my armor will be severely damaged, which would kind of suck because it would take a little while to uh, to repair it. But it wouldn't be the worst thing that ever happened to me anymore. So I'm, I'm really not that worried about what happens. It's pretty neat, actually. I found... Well, I took... Shut up, Portal. You're too loud. I took the coordinates of our spider spawner that we found way at the end of this. By the way, you see my coordinates there are negative 200. That little cave was negative 700, which means I went 500 blocks down in this direction. That's quite, that, that's, that's pretty far for a mine shaft. But I, I got the coordinates of that spider spawner and I went, I dug out enough of this area down here to find out exactly where I would have to go to go straight into it. This one right here, if I dig straight, we'll dig straight into that spawner. So this is the place we're going to end up digging like 500 or so blocks out. Not quite 500 from here. We need to go to negative 707, I believe is what it was. And uh, the 953 there is the right coordinate. So we'll do that. I don't know about uh, the, the Y though. The Y is probably a little higher. It's probably going to be in the air. But we're going to need it in the air anyway. So when we spawn them, they kind of fall into water or whatever. And we can do whatever kind of spawn or trap thing that we want to do there. We could just make... Well, actually, I, I couldn't make it a fall trap. Because we're too, we're too far to the ground. We'll have to do some other creative thinking. Or... I could funnel them into a, a water thing that you can act. There is actually a, a, a spider water vader just because they're bigger than one block. So you kind of put a water source here with sign, sign. And then on the next one up, you put one here with a sign and a sign. So that way it's kind of, it goes back and forth. So they do actually get the air, but they're always in a water source block and they can, uh, they can raise up that way, which is fine. So, it, I know it works out. I mean, we can raise them up and then just drop them like a huge distance or whatever. That'll kill them. And uh, I, I just don't know if we want to do that or if we want to try to make another XP farm. Because we could do that too. I mean, the one we have is okay. It's, it's, uh, it's not even okay. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it's a pretty bad uh, experience farm. But... It is an experience farm. I mean, it does work. I just don't know what would be better. An actual spawner or what we have up there. I think an actual spawner might be better, but maybe not. They don't really spawn all that frequently. Now, the other one, the cave spider spawner, is kind of a double spawner. See, look, my chests are gone. Or my drawers. My drawers were over there. And that's not even the right blocks behind them. Are they? Oh, wait, maybe it is. Is it? It might be. That might be the right blocks behind it. I might not have used soapstone. I don't think... I don't know. I don't remember if I actually planned it. If I planned to use soapstone throughout the whole thing. And then put up the drawers. Or if I had the plan for the drawers first. If I had the plan for the drawers first, then maybe I didn't. I probably didn't. I probably... Anyway, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, the other one, the, uh, the... Uh, cave spider spawner. Oh... Thank goodness it caught itself and planted itself. I forgot about my jungle tree. I completely forgot about it. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. That would have really, really, really been bad. I bet you some of you guys were screaming at me too. If that would have fallen on sand, we would have been in trouble. And I would have lost it and would have stunk. But you see, we are pretty close. We're pretty close. That's actually a lot of leaves. We might actually get one out of that. That's pretty cool. Anyway... Oh, that's terrible. Anyway, so yeah, that uh, I keep talking in circles. I, I apologize, guys. But the cave spider spawner, I think there's actually two of them close enough so we might be able to get a dual, a dual one of those and actually get a, a decent amount of experience from uh, the other guy that you can't even see right now. He's not spawning in. He's not rendering in, rather. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do exactly. I'm not sure. I got to give it a think to see what we want to get done. 
But uh, yeah, that's about all the time I have for this episode. So if you did like it, don't let that like button get lonely and subscribe to see more. Check out the Patreon and donation links down below. Thank you for watching. Do what you do, and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps. Oh, are we almost done? We're almost done with this daggone thing. Holy crap! We have four oh, logs yes. left to get. Four yes. logs! Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Two more. Yeah. Oh. Then there's two more. Oh my goodness, we finished it!